Virgo. Virgo Sun Risings. Virgo Sun Risings. Virgo Sun Risings. Okay, so we have some, we have, what do we got? What do we have? We have six house activity. We got six house activity. Okay, we got the sun moving into Aquarius in the sixth house. This is an in conjunction sign. You're in conjunction, so mild friction, almost ops, right? The almost op energy. Okay. Um. So for one, Virgo, you got Aquarius in the sixth house. <laughs> it, it, when I when I go through readings, yeah, it just reminds me of the videos, and we got, and I'm definitely picking up signs through the houses series videos soon like that. Get family i'm just so i'd be disappointed when i think about certain things that's not up on my youtube yet I, like so i didn't want to get into that i'm not trying to get discouraged here but we're gonna finish that darn series but sometimes i just laugh when we're doing readings and i talk about and i'm thinking about the signs in the house because it just remind me of probably something funny that i was saying in the video and and in the video virgo rising aquarius in the sixth house i remember laughing talking about how y'all be the ones always bringing something innovative to the workplace so y'all start working somebody somewhere, and now the way motherfuckers is filing papers or 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 organizing things here, you doing it the whole opposite way. You doing it a whole nother way, and you know Virgo like to build and service, right? But you doing it. What comes after the signs through the house series? Planets through the house series, which I'm so mad. I'm like I'm so thirsty to get through that because I'm doing so many examples of all of these things through live streams, but I feel like I don't have. I don't how the newcomer gonna come to the channel or come to church and be able to get right to it. It's gonna have to go through all these different live streams. No, so we're getting straight to planning through the houses and I just every other series, North Node series and generational planet series and Chiron asteroid series, like this is this all of this should have been up. But guess what, y'all? I have <laughs> I have Pluto in my first house. <laughs> I have Pluto in my first house. <laughs> That's why I couldn't get through it, y'all. All right, I'm blaming Pluto for that. I barely was able to live in the same place two years straight in my 20s. All right, I started this channel in the, at the beginning of my Saturn return. Okay, so uh, listen, but I love y'all, church, because I, I know y'all down for the ride. All right, y'all down for the ride. But but that's what's going on. Those are my plans with that. But uh, yeah, I was just laughing about Virgos, man. Virgos versus sun rising. Do y'all come to the workplace? Niggas be looking at y'all first couple of uh first couple of weeks like what the, you, yo that's not how we file paper but then you start realizing wait damn that actually makes sense to file the papers like that or it makes sense to commit that's actually a smarter way to work this is the, what Virgo sunrises be doing so it, it's almost a, it, you bring an opposite nature into y'all workplaces or people see the way y'all structure things this and the third but once they start realizing like okay that's actually the smarter way to do things you know uh. Oh man, Miss Robinson. That's a time to book read had amazing NATO, which I'm gonna get a transient family. You should do the same. All right, all right. And I'm actually eager to catch up with you, Miss Robinson, see what's going on since our last talk. All right. Glad to see you in the building. Look how that great look how that aqua energy just matching that dress in the in the in the thing. Look at your sister, you're in alignment. All right. All right. But Virgo Sunrise, man, y'all get in that mug. And start rearranging things in the workplace. Some people be mad, especially if you're a pretty Virgo sunrise. You come in there doing things different. You got the other girls hanging out. Why she think she could just come in here? No, because the rules are the rules. This is the Capricorn. This the Aries hating ass hoe. I'm sorry. I got to call her a hoe. It's <laughs> the hood guru, y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, YouTube. I meant hoes like, like water hoes. <laughs> They come in there hating. Y'all probably manifest some of that. Virgo Sunrise will be experiencing that opposition energy in the workplace a lot of the times. Even if you're not coming in there being on some opposite shit, y'all experience the shit. It's like, what am I doing? I'm just coming here trying to get my job done. People think I'm better than others because I come in here and I, I, you know, Virgo mad prideful about how they work on things. Virgo prideful is how they work at work on things. All right. If 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 Virgo is in a place where they're working on something, but like they're in a department I work where they work on something on their own, but like this is a week where they gotta work with somebody else. Watch the Virgo, how their energy is when is they find out like damn, this person gotta be in my department and work with me this week. They be like, all right, listen, man. Listen, look, the most efficient way to work is doing this that way, that way, that way. If you come back late from lunch and then then we're gonna have more work to do by three o'clock by the time we already doing this and 
It was like, damn, Virgo co-worker person, lady person. Is you the mother flipping uh, CEO? Is you getting paid? I don't think you getting paid is, no, don't think, don't make Virgo feel bad because they like to do, they work efficiently. Don't make Virgo feel bad for that, all right? Because some niggas want to come to work and just, I'm, I got a lot of earth placement, so I'm not going to play when I'm at work. I come to work, get the job done. If I was the CEO of this mother flipper, I would want mother flippers working efficiently, all right? It might be a day I have to hire people, and I hope they're not going to mess around with what I want them to work. No, just come to work and be respectful. Do what you got to do. and Make time fly by faster, too. All right? So Virgo ain't playing that. Virgo ain't playing that. They prideful about that. So all that being said, Virgo, you got the sun coming into the sixth house, and what's about to happen this season, you're going to realize what type of innovativeness you have to bring into your sixth house, a.k.a., yeah, you might re- you might be doing this, that, and the third in the workplace, but it's going to be things about your individuality you feel like you can start to put into a project. You're always going to feel like this when you get this transit. So you may get motivated around this time to work. It may be something you got going on a unique talent or something that you have. And then when the sun starts transiting your sixth house, you start manifesting opportunities to uh, work on something with other people. You start, man, you're uh, just having Aquarius in the sixth house. A lot of Virgo sun rises, you know, their individuality gets seen in the workplace and gets highlighted there. And that could spark things in the Virgo's awareness. Like, damn, yeah, right. I am you. I am good doing this. Or this is something I do well that not uh, the average person does well. Maybe I should work on it. Maybe I should find a way to brand this, make this, make this, keep crafting this in my regiment in some type of shape or form, you know? So uh, those type of influences is going to spark here. Just make sure in the workplace, man, if you got some haters in the workplace, people mad about your ability to, because sometimes depending on where you got Aquarius at in your chart, once again, this is where your individuality is going to be seen. But guess what? Aquarius is also one of the signs that manifest mad haters too. Because Aquarius be doing shit different. People be thinking they trying to do things different. Leo do things different, and they trying to be the different one. That's the difference. <laughs> Leo so intentional about being different. Aquarius is not intentional about being different. They literally are. And this is not a knack on Leo. This is not a knack on Leo. Leo's just more uncomfortable feeling like at times that they're in alignment with what everybody got going on, and they're just more conscious of it. So they just have to make more of the conscious action, conscious, you know, yeah, have more of a conscious action towards being different. Like, that's it. Like, damn. Like, I'm already a fly nigga. I know how to dress this and a third. I'm just noticing everybody's wearing that. So I, I ain't wearing that. And if, or if I do wear it, I'm going to wear it this way. Aquarius just, Aquarius not thinking all that. Like, Aquarius, sometimes Aquarius is like, damn, everybody going left, I'm going right. But for the most part, Aquarius just come outside. Like, you know, I feel like wearing pajamas outside. I'm going to rock them with these boots. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I feel like tying this bandana around my neck. Let me pierce my nose before I go to school today. All right, let me shave half my head. All right, that's how I feel like going outside today. They don't give a damn about what was going on outside. They did all that because they wanted to. And when they go to school, they're going to be that unique, different one with a half mohawk headed ass have. That's, that's what's going to happen. All right, so uh, they didn't plan all that. Leo, plant, Leo put a lot of plan into coming to school with their pajamas and boots. And a red star on they red star tattoo on their head. Shout out to Birdman. Leo put thought into that. Okay. Aquarius ain't put much thought into that. They just woke up and did it. All right. So with that being said, um, these ideas, uh, you gotta be careful with the sun in the sixth house. You don't get into no like Virgos, do not allow nobody to get you in no back and forth debate situations, stupid arguments, this, that, and the third, just because you doing your own unique thing. Niggas hating on you, projecting on you in the workplace a little bit. Niggas mad because the boss, the advisor, manager mess with you a little bit more harder because they, they like how you work. They know that if you leave the job, when that Virgo sunrise and leave the job, oh, man, the supervisor manager be like, God damn it, where are we going to find another? <laughs> I'm going to find another lead bartender. These young hoes ain't trained like that yet. <laughs> this Leo ho over here putting too much damn look in there. Talking about how the club, how everybody in the club gonna have fun. We ain't putting liquor in the drinks. Woman, you gonna make me lose my liquor license in here. You're overindulging in that fifth house energy now. 
This Libra bartending hoe right here be don't even be making the drinks. Too much damn conversation with the niggas at the bar. That's why you needed that Virgo sunrise and you needed her, the lead bartender, so she could tell the Leo Libra. That, what? Ladies, come on. We at work. Libra ho, you could talk to her. You could talk to them niggas after when we shut down. They said the niggas said he's going to be here when you get off work. Leo, look at this nigga. Look at the nigga passed out. That's you right there. That's your fault. Look at the nigga passed out right there in the corner. Capricorn security nigga, can you get the nigga? Look at Virgo going to work at the bartender, going to work at the bar. But they mad at you because the boss love depending on you for that. Because the boss, what 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 is what rule Aquarius Saturn? Responsibility. You able to bring responsibility to that mug. But it's in conjunction. So that's why you get a little bit of them haters in there. Or sometimes, you know, people just have feel away about you because you just might do some, you might work on something in a unique way, even though it's more efficient to you. I just said that like a Baltimore nigga. To you, you know, Baltimore niggas, what's up? Hey, man, what we going to do? Yeah. Boy, I like your shirt. That's the color blue. Yeah, I, I, I like that, but I like how y'all, I got anybody from Baltimore, I like how y'all talk like that. No, for real, boy, it's true. That's how the Libras act. It's true. I like I like that. <laughs> All right. But <laughs> that's a Capricorn ass job. It's late night. It's gonna be in them Capricorn hours. And you need a you need a, a built mother flipper to be a security guard. Capricorn, I want a cap. If I'm running a club, I want my security guard to be a cap. Cause they ain't gonna be the only thing about Capricorn, they'll they'll let you get in the club if you give them extra, they'll give you all right. Go ahead. You can give you got $40, I'll let you skip. That's another reason I like the Capricorn security guard. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? Virgo sunrise and security guard might take their job a little too serious. I'll be like, yo, bro, look, I gotta give you twenty dollars. Let me skip. And I hate lines. I don't do lines. I don't like going to I ain't I ain't trying to sound like I'm better than nobody. I'm just if I'm going to the club. I have to tell the bros, bro, we got to get a section. Y'all know me. I'm not, I'm too tall to just be standing in the middle between people. And I can't be doing that. I need to be sit. I need to. All right. Is we get in the section and it's, and I need to be able to walk right in. I don't do lines. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to come off like I'm better than nobody. It's just, I can't do it. I'm not even a club nigga like that. A nigga like a lounge. I like a nice little pub. All right. I don't know. I don't know if I'm old school. I don't know. It's just more. I like private parties. All right. I like things like that. But anyways, anyways. All right, Prince. All right, Princess Chloe, get your ass on. You know, you're not even gonna turn me up in here, Princess Chloe. You're not even gonna. He talked too much. You're not, you're not even gonna turn me up in here. I'm sorry. You're not even gonna turn. I was about to go crazy on you just now, but I'm in such a good vibration. I'm sorry. Ooh, you was about to catch it. You lucky I'm evolving, woman. You lucky I'm evolving, all right? Church is going to anoint you and give you some grace getting up out of here, all right? But anyways, okay? Capricorn, you need, you Capricorn nigga going to let you get that. All right, give me $20, you skip the line, all right? Well, Virgo fuck around, take their job too seriously, so that's why the boss advisor like y'all is going to let y'all get off with that. It's going to let y'all get off with that. But with all that being said... Yes, Virgo Sunrise, you got the sun in here, so y'all need to make sure any sense of innovativeness that's con communicated to you, like, yo, you mad good with this, that, and the third? <laughs> Who, you mad good with this, that, and the third? Yo, you really smart with this, that, and the third? You ever thought about working on this, that, and the third? You ever thought about, you know, relating that to... Go, okay, okay, boy, please look... Oh, man. Oh, oh man, I really don't want to... I don't want to do this to you right now, lady. I don't want to do this to you right now, lady. You could have been anywhere else in the world. You wanted to be here because you fuck with a real nigga energy. So don't try to go there now. You don't. You never fucked with a real nigga like me before. All right. I I know it's okay. It's all right. All right. You get on the braids. The braids they they fire. These is fire. The niggas you fucked with couldn't rock braids like this. The niggas you fucked with couldn't stay in the same room. I, see, all right. I'm wild and I'm wild I'm vibrant. My bad. My bad, y'all. I mean. I was, about to fire. I was about to fire her ass up. My bad. 
to my bad family. This is why I be having to commend y'all. This is why I be having to commend y'all. You know, this is why I be having to commend y'all for appreciating everything that goes on in church. Because it be every once in a while, it's a nigga like her. Key word is a nigga like her. You know, you know, you know she annoying niggas in her life. You know she annoying niggas in her life. I could just tell by her energy, niggas be losing their erections around her ass. <laughs> I could just tell, like, I could just pick up annoying, like, <sighs> just leave you and her name, Princess Chloe. You probably got that stubborn ass, unevolved Leo energy. You give me some of that. You just give me some of that. Anyways, anyways, now you just never been around real nigga energy in the shows. That's all. That's all that's going on. But so Virgo Suns, now that the energy is coming into the sixth house with Aquarius there, the standard third, anything that you that you're able to be different with from others is going to be highlighted that this is probably something that you should start to craft. You should start to put in some type of routine. You should type of uh <laughs> see now the church gonna get you. See, now I've been chilling. I now the church gonna get on you. So you might as well leave the stream if you're still here. You know she probably still in the stream a little bit like, damn, why I said that? I know I want to see the rest of my... I know I wanted to wait to see my shit. <laughs> like, come on with your big-headed ass. Okay? But anyways, anything that you... See, you, you throw me off now. I was in my bag. I move how I move now. Now your stink breath ass threw me off. Damn. I'm just trying to be better, you know. She's lucky I can't see her. But I'm a spiritual nigga, so I could just pick up her energy and start flaming her and roasting her from there. Eh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anyways, okay, my bad, Virgo. I'm sorry, Virgo. I'm sorry, Virgo Sunrises. But with all that being said, with all that being said, um... When we talk about Aquarius in the sixth house, look at the combination of that placement. So we got Aquarius here that we know is dealing with network, community, relationship, partnership type energy. But we know the sixth house, this is your house, Virgo, right? Routine, structure, and building. So when it comes into you, once again, this and this may have been a revelation with the sun conjunct Pluto this weekend. You may have realized some type of group association that you're a part of. You're doing too much work, Virgo. And you be manifesting that situation in your life in general. You be manifesting situations where you just sometimes you don't care. You 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 don't mind taking the responsibility for things because you feel like no. I think Bora. I think I'm supposed to be a part of this group to be able to take the responsibility for this and the third. I think that's why I'm supposed to be here. But sometimes you got to be careful when that's not. Sometimes that's not a healthy mindset to have in all your partnerships and associations. But I'm pretty sure this weekend with the sun. Uh, Pluto conjunction, you was able to get that revelation, or you might have had an intense peak. Might have been something you expressed intensely, you know, that was pent up to your partners or to the people you've been building and structuring things with in some type of shape or form, right? Hopefully, it either brought understanding for y'all to have more harmony with what y'all was building, or in some type of shape or form, you realized, all right, this is expired. I don't want to uphold the responsibility I bring to this group or association anymore. This and the third, I'd rather work on this solo, or I just, you know, step away from the project. This and the third. So that's something that you know, if you felt like you're still in the midst of understanding these things. Uh, oh my God, the Aqua Six House bringing Hazel. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it, 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 it be like that in there sometimes. It really be like that in there. And you have to be able to, man, that's the type of transformation. Sometimes opposition in that area comes in that way. And that's what causes transformation. That's what causes you not to want to work at this department. What causes you want to be at another, work at another place in some type of shape or form. Virgo, you ask Virgo, why you don't work at that place? Why you started, why you worked here? Like, you, I heard you used to work over there. Like, yeah, I used to work over there. But for real, when I got in there, like some of the joints was hating on me this now and the third. And then, you know, the, the, the boss and this now and the third thought I was messing with, 
you know, this like thought I was like all different type of things right there. So I understand Virgo sunrises. I understand. But but with that being said, with that being said, it might be some it might be some situations like, yeah, Virgo, you might have to express some things that have been pent up in these in these uh partnerships. So if that didn't manifest coming into this weekend with the Sun Pluto conjunction, then that may take place moving uh throughout the transit. Now, Pluto coming into this area. Now, Pluto coming into the sixth house, Virgo sunrises. Virgo sunrises. Now, one thing I always get on my Virgo sunrises is uh you guys at times not allowing yourself to experiment maybe because it could be uh what's the phrase some uh uh, uh something paralysis there's like a, a phrase for something something paralysis but it rhymes with paralysis Anal analysis paralysis yeah i think that's it but you know y'all could suffer from that sometimes you know you too smart this when i say a virgo too smart for their own good this is what i'd be thinking of the times that you have a talent, something to work, but because your ability, because your Mercury generates too many ideas, it's hard for you to just be like, all right, let me just pick, pick, pick the best idea that I have, in my opinion, and work on that. But you'd be like, what about idea number two? Idea, idea number three? Plan number four? Plan number five? Plan number six? Plan number seven? And then what about the outcomes? I have outcome number one, outcome number two, outcome number three, outcome number four, outcome number five. Okay, matter of fact, let me make 20 solutions just in case if I get these 20 different outcomes. So I have these 20 different solutions. Virgo, you are wild. You wildin' now. You wildin'. You wildin', bro, sis. Okay. Paralysis by analysis. Thank you, brother. Thank you. So now that Pluto's in your house, your house, your sixth house, your your archetype, right? You're gonna go through some intense transformations with that analysis paralysis type influences. When you have this thing you really want to work on, you really want to structure on. It's one thing if you're a Virgo sunrise and you're trying to find, you know, you're trying to navigate your career life in different type of shape or forms, this, that, and the third. But when you got Pluto in the sixth house, but matter of fact, excuse me, take that back. You are a Virgo sun rising. You are spiritually gifted with understanding things about wellness and not just saying you Dr. Sebi, but you are sensitive towards how things affect the body from what you consume from an energy point of view because your nervous system is so is such a you 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 are so in tune with your nervous system so you could Virgos could damn near go to a restaurant and eat something and know like yo did the chef was the chef in a bad mood making this like y'all be that in tune when it comes into consuming things all right so this is why when it comes into health and wellness that sixth house energy that's that's, that's real Remember, you know, word on the block is Virgos, you know, rulerships have moved over time and whatnot. You know, Virgos done been ruled by the moon. So they, they have a real strong sense of intuition, man. All right. So when we're looking at, at that type of energy and then we get, uh, you know, we get uh, uh, Pluto coming into the sixth house. The Virgo sun rising that doesn't is not adamant about applying things in their regimen, in their routine as they should, with their wellness as they should, you know. This is this is knowledge that you do have, Virgo. Not something that you need to learn. How knowledge that you already have about things dealing with your wellness, how your regiment should be the standard third, bad habits and cycles that keep you away from having this efficient sense of routine. All right. And not saying your routine has to be perfect, but working towards having an efficient routine that reflects the things that you already know. Pluto's gonna have to tackle whatever those things are. Is it part of your toxic relationship cycles in your life that take you away from having a sixth house on point? Is it the fact that you got Aquarius in the sixth house and because you manifest so much opposition in your life, being an individual of how you try to work on things, you develop the insecurity of feeling like, you know, everything that you want to work on don't make sense in some type of shape or form. You should align with more common things in your life and not try to be out the box, not try to be an abstract thinker with how you want to navigate career and build things. Could it be that insecurity in some type of shape or form that you might have subconsciously developed in your life? So all these different things that hold you back from establishing a routine or a regimen that could build something in life or just taking your natural elements, your natural properties, understanding how to structure and put things in place and sustain that for outcomes and results in reality. Pluto's going to have to tackle why you don't get at that. All right. And it's going to get very intense if you don't allow yourself to experiment, Virgo. If you don't allow yourself to experiment, Virgo, that's when things could get really turned up in that type of, in, in that type of way. All right. 
So I'm going to need y'all to take all passions. I'm going to need y'all to get into more of a long-term thinking energy when it comes to certain things y'all want to work on, craft this, that, and the third, because Pluto's going to work with you in this area. And it's going to, because it's an Aquarius, it's going to make sure the people you surround yourself with, that these relationships are transformed based off of, you know, what you're, what is, you know, uh, uh, positive for what you're building and what's a distraction in this area in some type of shape or form. Now, it is Pluto in your sixth house, Virgo Sun Rises. You acting like you don't have an intuition and a natural understanding for things dealing with your sense of wellness to stand in the third. Pluto, you got Pluto in your house of health. You got Pluto in the house of health. So I don't need to hear about my Virgo Sun Rising dealing with this stand in the third. Because, you know, uh, you simply wasn't able to keep your frequency vibration in a positive space. Like I said, sometimes we be having things wrong with us and they be energy. You go to a doctor, the doctor don't know what the hell going on. Yeah, because you wasn't taught this in med school. They didn't teach you how to work with energy. That's why I got to go to my Reiki healer. Mother flip urgent care. Okay. So that's what we got going on with my Virgo Sun Rises for the most part. That's how Pluto's coming in there. Okay. And over time during this transit, it could be so many things that manifest as far as what type of community you're able to build. You can actually rally. That's another thing with this placement. You can actually rally up a lot of community over things with health and wellness. You start a Facebook community, this, that, and that third, because you have gems and you're, you, you know, you have experience dealing with fasting and you know how to walk people into things dealing with fasting. Like, yeah, guys, join my fasting community. Every weekend, we're going to do a fruit fast and I'm going to walk guys into intermittent fast. We're going to do all different types of things. We're going to update each other with our fast and share our testimonies. Virgo Sunrise, you know how much people you can help in the sense of a, in the, getting people on the same page and things dealing with health, things dealing with wellness, all right? And wellness is is so multifaceted, all right? We got mental health. We got all different type of things, certain certain diets, you know, things dealing with physical training, all of that. Some of y'all's trainers and whatever it is, all right? So that's what we got going on with my Virgo Sun Risings, all right? Now, moving on, moving on. Uh... Virgo Sun Risings, uh, we got my, I don't even know what the next sign is, Libra, all right, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and Cap, okay, so let's, let's get, let's get through, let's get through, Libra, Libra, 